Emily Olivia Leah Blunt was born in London on February 23, 1983. She is the second of four children born to Joanna, a former actress and teacher, and barrister Oliver Simon Peter Blunt, QC. At a very young age, Emily became interested in acting. From the age of 7 to 14, Emily struggled with stuttering, which resulted in her peers making fun of her. She later recalled that she was bullied due to the stutter she had as a child that never really went away. At a very young age, Emily became interested in acting. From the age of 7 to 14, Emily struggled with stuttering, which resulted in her peers making fun of her. She later recalled that she was bullied due to the stutter she had as a child that never really went away. Emily also later explained that her stutter was genetic and something she had to deal with her whole life. But as a kid, it was terribly hard to live with it. However, she didn't allow her stuttering to deter her from her acting. Emily would eventually credit a school teacher for helping her partially overcome the stutter through acting and went on to sit on the board of directors for the American Institute of Stuttering. Emily attended Ibistock Place School in Roehampton, Southwest London, and at the age of 16, she went to Hotwood House near Dorking. Sorry, a private sixth form college known for its performing arts program. There, she was discovered and signed by an agent. When she was 18, Emily landed the classic role of Juliet in Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet in production for the UK Chester Festival. Around that same time, she made her debut on the London stage opposite Dame Judi Dench in The Royal Family. For her work, Emily was named the best newcomer by the Evening Standard. Soon after, British TV came calling and Blunt appeared on shows such as Fowl's War and Agatha Christie Poirot and landed a recurring role in the miniseries Empire. She also found her acting footing in TV movies such as Henry VIII 2003 and The Strange Case of Sherlock Holmes and Arthur Conan Doyle 2005. Blunt made the jump to the big screen during this period making an impression in My Summer of Love 2004, in which she played a character who had a summer fling with another woman. Her portrayal received raves and her next big break was just around the corner. In 2006, Blunt co-starred in the film The Devil Wears Prada, based on the best-selling novel by the same name, and was nominated for a Best Supporting Actress Golden Globe. She didn't win in that category, but did receive a globe for her work in the TV movie Gideon's Daughter. Prada also earned Bond a BAFTA nomination for its Rising Star Award and it marked the beginning of the end of her life on the small screen. An inspirational lesson from Emily's life story is that her disability didn't limit her. Someone that stutters shouldn't have considered acting as a career. But Emily chose not to be limited but to pursue her dreams regardless. She preferred to work on her disability and overcome it. As Jimmy Dean once said, I can't change the direction of the wind but I can adjust my sail to always reach my destination. You may not be able to change your disability but you should be able to change how you live with it to achieve your dreams. You have to believe so strongly in your dreams because when you hit dead ends, your mind and sometimes the people around you may want to convince you to give up. Take it from a successful person like Oprah Winfrey who said, you don't become what you want, you become what you believe. Your disability doesn't define you, what you believe defines you. Your background doesn't determine your future, your beliefs does. Mary Kay Ash once said, don't limit yourself. Many people limit themselves to what they think they can do. You can go as far as your mind lets you. What you believe, remember, you can achieve. Then someone will ask, how can I believe in myself? To answer that, I advise, watch what you allow into your mind, watch what you read, watch who you listen to, and most importantly, watch how you start your day. Start your day with positive and motivating videos, books, or music. Start your day with gratitude to God about what you already have and you will have positive energy required to pursue more.